after Russian troops attacked the country. Ukraine says Russian military vehicles have entered from many directions, including from occupied Crimea and from Belarus to the north. More than 30 Ukrainian civilians are reported to have died, including at least 18 people killed near the port of Odessa in a missile attack. This report from Paul Adams. In Ivano-Frankivsk in the far southwest, a missile struck an airport. Closer to Kiev, the aftermath of an attack on an ammunition dump. Russia saying it's only hitting military targets. But images from Ukraine's northern and southern borders purport to show columns of Russian armor entering from Belarus and Crimea. Within hours, Russian tanks of Ukraine's second largest city, Kharkiv. Whatever Russia says, this attack will not be surgical. To the east of Kharkiv, emergency workers battle to control fires in residential buildings hit by rockets. The number of civilian casualties is rising. Ukraine's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, has condemned Russia's attack as treacherous. He said Ukraine and Russia were on different sides of world history. Russia viciously and suicidally attacked our country early in the morning. For Ukrainians, independence is the highest value. Mr. This is Torn Wells, and you're listening to my song, Fake It. K Love First. The council held an emergency session last night. Linda Fasulo reports the United States and its allies are expected to circulate a draft resolution today calling on Russian President Vladimir Putin to halt military operations in eastern Ukraine. At the Security Council meeting, you... Your leader, two under, he's through five. There you go. He's just yeah, like the, the scores don't matter, right? An hour. An hour, yeah. I don't know. Good, right. good swing. Like, you're not going to get an idea. And the only reason why it was Hubbard, the only reason why he's leading, because he golfed.